Hi, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome to Vitex Solutions. In today's video, we will download the FortiGate firewall image and install it in the VMware. So, to download uh, the image, you have to uh, go into go to the forty uh, dot com and from there you have to download the image. Uh, but we, before that, we will uh, see what you get when you get a permanent trial license of uh, 40 get vm uh, there are uh, there is only one free copy uh, per account uh, if you want to uh, have multiple vms uh, then you have to create a multiple account on 40 clouds it only is for for the low encryption uh, means you uh, will not be able to uh, create vpns with the high uh, end encryptions and many more uh, maximum all score for one CPU and two GB of memory and you can create maximum of three interfaces and firewall policies and route uh, there will be no score from the 40 gate and 40 guard and maximum of two VDOMs are supported okay so uh, this is what you get uh, when you install a VM trial so to download the VM, uh, you have to go to uh, sport.fortinet.com and from there, uh, if you do not have already account, the, you click on uh, the create account and if you already have, click on the logins. Um, account creation is very simple, okay, just uh, fill in your information and uh, it will be ready to log in. Uh, I already have uh, 40 uh, uh, account on this, okay, so and I already logged in. Once you logged in, you will <coughs> be land on uh, the dashboard. From there, uh, click on Sport. Okay. Uh, first, let me clear uh, the window. Uh, you click on Sport. From there, click on VM Images. Okay. Here, uh, this is uh, the product is 40 gate. Uh, if you want to download for other product, just choose the product you want to download. Uh, I will download for 40 gig, so I will choose 40 gig and the platform. Okay, uh, choose the platform you want. So uh, we will install it in uh, the uh, VMware. So we will choose the VMware ESXi. Okay, click here, and it will uh, give you the latest list of versions. 40 gate firewall if you want to do download the earlier versions click on earlier version and you can download the version from here okay i will download the latest uh, click on this little button and it will expand uh, here uh, you must take care of one thing okay uh, when you download it uh, do not download this version okay when there is a 40 firewall in the name uh, this version do not support for the VM trial uh, even if you install it in the VMware it will not let you log in with the uh, login and activate with the, the trial okay so uh, make sure you download uh, the 40 gate only okay in the name okay uh, do not download the upgrade it will not support so uh, always uh, choose new deployment of 40 gate okay not this one so let's download it okay it is uh, 109 MB let it download Okay, so the download is complete. Uh, right click to extract it. Okay, the image is extracted successfully. Now, all right, now that we have downloaded our virtual 48 firewall, now uh, we will add it into the VMware workstation. <coughs> but before that, we will create some virtual network to be used with the firewall. For that, we will click on virtual network editor. 
and here are some networks that I have created previously so to add a new network click on setting click yes and click on add new network uh, it will present me the next network available because I have already utilized network from 0 to 8 so click on ok to add it it will take few seconds now uncheck both of these boxes and I will use uh, 192.168.10 network and I will rename the network to the same 192.168.10 net for easy identification click on ok apply it to save the settings now uh, click on ok to close the virtual network editor now that we have successfully added one network uh, to be used with our virtual firewall actually it is uh, like a virtual switch you will uh, when you connect uh, our firewall one one network of our firewall and the other virtual machine to the same uh, virtual network then uh, they will be on the same network okay so now we will import our uh, Forticate firewall to the VMware workstation for that click on file open and uh, the file I have downloaded and uh, downloaded is extracted on uh, C SFT folder and uh, this is the file uh, there are many files uh, you for a VMware workstation just click on on the VMware 64 and click on open accept the terms of license click on next and uh, give it a name you want I will give it FGT to Gmail uh, because I will use my Gmail ID to activate the license and I'll create one folder under my virtual machines new virtual machine and FGT to gmail click ok now import now this is the machine that we had just uh, imported okay so uh, here is misspelled okay now click on the machine click on the power on this virtual machine it will take some time to boot and load our files once it is loaded it will uh, reboot one more time okay now it will reboot one more time all right now that our firewall is successfully uh, booted i will shut it down one more uh, time because i forgot to do one step that you must do before you power on the virtual machine so i will shut down my firewall gracefully
all right the virtual machine is done now right click and click on settings and from here the first adapter which is uh, connected to the uh, in bridge mode means it will get its IP address uh, from our internet router uh, because it is buying to our real network adapter okay so uh, it will share our real network so it will get IP from there and that IP we will use uh, to manage this firewall for the second uh, we will create it we will bind it to the network that we had just created and click on OK so here we have one virtual machine and I will click on setting of this virtual machine and I will connect this adapter to the same virtual network that we had just created now port number two of our firewall and uh, this machine are on the same network now let's boot our firewall again All right, now our firewall is booted. Uh, the default login is admin, and there is no password by default. Just press enter. It will ask you to reset the password. Now our we have successfully logged in and changed our password. Now check system uh, IP for that uh, show system interface and press the question mark. And we have got an IP address of 192.168.1.142 from our internet router and uh, we will use the same to access uh, our virtual firewall so we will go into our edge type in the same IP address 142 and we are successfully logged in so uh, this is how we uh, import a virtual machine in a VMware workstation now to activate it there are two options either uh, you can activate it through the license from here if you already had it to activate virtual uh, evaluation license uh, click on the evaluation license and enter your 40 cloud credentials I will use my gmail account for this and uh, yes okay uh, once it is successfully logged in and uh, it will reboot your system once to apply all the license settings okay now our firewall is successfully rebooted now we can log in to our virtual firewall click begin uh, click on later and uh, here you can change some settings uh, i will choose save and continue acknowledge it click ok uh, choose for optimal dashboard settings don't show the videos okay so uh, this is our virtual firewall that we have just activated with permanent uh, evaluation license as I told you you will get only one CPU so here it shows only one CPU and uh, two GB of memory our firewall is operating on that mode and there is no license uh, for this firewall okay 
so uh, under network under interfaces uh, this is the port uh, one that I had just told you in our uh, VMware is a VMware okay property and uh, sorry into settings uh, this the bridge network is this one port one okay and uh, the port two is this network here so we'll click on port two edit it and uh, this is our internal I will rename it internal and assign an IP address of our network and this will serve as our default gateway and I will enable the DSCP click OK and click OK so all of these settings done now uh, we will boot our client let's see if it gets an IP address from our firewall because the we have already connected it to our 192.168.10 network virtual network okay. all right yes on the CMD IP config yes we have got the IP address from our firewall we can be in our default gateway one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot one yes and uh, we can check the same from our firewall under dashboard under network and there is one DSCP client which is our virtual uh, Windows 10 PC okay so thanks friend thanks for watching the video if you need any help uh, installing it and activating or uh, creating any virtual topology please uh, uh, comment in the comment box thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe my youtube channel